Good morning, everyone. This is Rob with Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2017 Kenworth T680. It features a Packard MX-13 at 455 horsepower, an automatic transmission, 13, 2, and 40 axles, and a 342 rear axle ratio. I'll take you through the truck, show you some of the things that we've done, and explain a little bit about the process if you happen to be watching this truck video and you're in the US and you want to buy this truck as it's currently sitting here in Canada. Uh, we're in the middle of January here. We don't have the best of weather. We've had miserable weather all week and I'm trying to sneak this one in. It's almost starting to snow. It's somewhere between rain and snow. Have a look here. You'll see this has the 76 inch midroof extra tall as we call it MRXT. So it's got the single bunk in here. It is uh, quite tall. It's not the condo, but it definitely has plenty of room. It's got 110 gallon polished fuel tanks. As you can see from this one and the other two beside it, they have blue frames. Uh, these trucks came from uh, a fleet that had blue frames on these trucks. We've gone ahead and repainted them. They look awesome. We've gone ahead and put uh, new top hat kits on each of the the wheels you'll see in the center and we've also uh, put on brand new quarter fenders so let's have a look here and see this has the peterbilt Sm or sorry kenworth smart air system there is a battery set up in behind that um, that step where we'll have uh, batteries that will run the air conditioning system have a look inside of here and you'll see we've got the air conditioning system is right there this is the standard air conditioning system that comes with the truck and then that's the the upgraded air system have a look here you'll see we've got another access door to put your uh, to put your gear through there 110 gallon fuel tank wabasto exhaust for a diesel bunk heater and have a look here you'll see this truck did have at one point a headache rack it does have extra cab to axle space we probably got at least four feet there I believe this is a 244 wheelbase, so you've got tons of space if you want to either, you know, just have a little bit longer uh, space between your trailer. If you've got, uh, if you're hauling some type of a um, flat deck trailer and you need overhang across the front, or if you want to have a headache rack with chains and tarps, uh, this is definitely going to be able to fit that. But we've gone ahead and added a brand new pogo stick because obviously that stuff was previously mounted on the headache rack. You can see the uh, air conditioning system there. Uh, have a look here. You can see the nice job that our shop has done. It, obviously, it's raining, so unfortunately, it's not. Uh, can't really see how good it is, but have a look there, and you'll see. Fresh coat of blue paint goes a long way. It looks great. Over here, we've got brand new drive tires, brand new top hats, and these are brand new wheels. Okay, we've got inside steel wheels. We've got the Kenworth AG400 suspension. This is a four bag, four pivot. So you've got a pivot at the front and an airbag at the back. We've got 40,000 pound rear and we've got a Holland FW35 sliding fifth wheel. It moves about a foot. You've got about a foot of travel on there. Uh, you've got eight new wheels, eight new, uh, eight new tires. Have a look here. It's an air, air slide. Okay, this is our downdraft exhaust. It hasn't done a regen yet, you can see, because it's still blue. Once it does the first regen, that will no longer be blue. Give me a good look through here. Okay, underneath the hood, we'll go over here in a minute. Just give you a quick peek inside here first. We've got tow hooks. They'll probably need to be secured or they'll be sliding around. You've got a stereo subwoofer. You've got a um, power inverter that runs receptacles throughout the cab. We've also got another bunk access door. And then we've got the standard cab batteries are here. Um, you know, one thing I did notice, and I'll just point this out, I don't, you may have already noticed it, but we've got one chrome mirror and one non-chrome mirror. Uh, collision mitigation, this is uh, a Bendix system that's factory installed that detects metal objects in front of you, and it will apply brakes to the truck if you get too close to the vehicle in front of you. It's gonna give you a audible warning first and if you don't slow down it will apply the brakes for metal objects it may not detect non-metal objects say a person it wouldn't necessarily detect that um, but it will detect metal it's sort of a um, uh, simpler system than, in, than what is in some of the cars nowadays but it does work well and it's good for stop and go traffic 
uh, have a look here you can see that we've got the hid headlamps that's your your ballast that runs those they work great uh, we've got our double capacity alternator if you have a look in here you'll see it's uh, 300 amps and that's going to charge the eight batteries that are on the truck because obviously we've got four that run the truck and four that run the air conditioning system uh, we've got disc brakes all the way around i don't know if i showed them to you on the back but i'll show you uh, on the front and have a look here you'll see that we've got disc brakes in here as well hard to tell okay and i just want to kind of draw your attention to the level of detail that's been made with from the painter that he's gone through here and you know done a really nice job on making sure that the blue just looks great you can see that these steps would have come off and they painted inside of there okay and gone through here they actually take the bumper off when they paint it everything looks really slick okay but this was originally a blue frame truck so we're painting blue on top of on top of blue uh, i'll get to the engine in a minute i'll take you on the inside first just to have a look this is the vantage interior which is the it has stitching but it's not the button tuck uh, we've got a couple of kill switches here which is nice these are not smart switches the smart switch is on the peterbilt and what i mean by that is if you turn those off too quickly you run the risk of um of a check engine light getting thrown you have to wait until the till the engine and def system have powered down you can't hop out of the truck immediately and turn this off or you, you will throw codes so let me just get this started we're up to full temperature i had it running um oh hang on i had it running earlier we were just doing some final touch-ups on the uh on the detailing a couple of items that we had um that we had needed to touch up it had some leftover stickers and i noticed that it cranked over a little slow so we'll we'll get that checked as well that's not something that is really ideal we don't want to um to have a truck that doesn't start so having a look here you can see it's all uh clean and you can see that we've got this the um the stitching throughout we've got cb mount is there uh, we've got secure storage i do like i've left some of the lights on in here okay so this is a nice feature this little switch this gives you uh mood lighting down below the red mood lighting and then over here you're going to have um it gives you the extra lights in the back here uh, we've got the spin around table this table is um, designed to work with that chair that chair is uh, excuse me spins around you bring it all the way forward spin it backwards and it'll face the table uh, when you're driving you can move this table over to here we've got a flat screen tv mount we've got a mood lighting button here which is nice for it night this little red guy gives you just enough light not to be annoying but to be able to see and then we've got this extra light we've got the flat screen tv mount we've got the inverter and we've got a cable connection here those curtains will roll up and open up to give you access through the windows we've got a microwave mount here with strap mounts uh, to hold it down we've got a receptacle there more secure storage up here lots of secure storage in here tons of storage uh, these curtains you'll notice are the because it has the kenworth smart air system these curtains are extra thick i'm not sure if you can tell but they're insulated and these here are magnetic there's actually a magnetic strip inside of here that when you take that and match it up with the other side uh, they click together so it's, it's nice it's a nice system and these are uh, have extra insulation in them come over to here we've got the control panel with your inverter get that turned on 13.9 which is good you've got that fridge switch which is ideal i love that because otherwise you're coming back to dead batteries and then you've got the kenworth smart air system which looks like the control panel might be not 100 percent here so i'm not going to declare this as a working system but it is on there you might need a new control panel let's go through the rest of the truck you've got a refrigerator in here this one is um looks like an aftermarket replacement which isn't bad it's actually got a cool little chain there to open up for your freezer and 
California. So that's not the original fridge, but it is uh, definitely an OEM fit. Uh, you've got more secure storage here, more secure storage here, and more secure storage here, which is great. And we've got the upper cupboard which is in good working order. And that's important because this is an expensive cupboard door. If you have to replace it, you've got up here, you've got a clothes rack, two pockets and a mirror. You've got the step to go up to the second level, actually to get up there. Well, this would have been, my apologies. This would have been set up if you had a double bed, but you don't have a double bed. So you don't really need to step on that, but it is there and then obviously we've got more secure storage these are the books came with the truck over here we've got more secure storage cupboards are working good that's important sometimes they get out of whack and they don't close very well so have a look at the inside of here the truck is i'm not going to say like new because it's not but it's excellent condition really the only wear i can see is on this side of the seat uh, the other seat is essentially brand new. Doesn't look like there was ever a driver in it. And it would make sense because this is a specialty type of truck where you're not going to have teams in this truck. You can see we've got the Cobra head uh, automatic shifter. We've got automatic climate control here. And we've got a little bit of a uh, brake on the top of the button. So be aware of that. We've got the mount where the ELD was located. And that's probably where it was... Um, that wear is probably just from where the mount was actually touching. Suspension load, trailer brake, and all of your other stuff here is up and running. Power locks, mirrors, windows, heated mirrors. I don't know if these are heated seats. Let me have a look and see. They might be. No, I don't see a heated seat switch. Uh, over here, we've got engine brake. You've got cruise, engine fan override, couple of spares, hill start assist, traction control, manual regen, diff lock, suspension dump, uh, lift axle, and uh, sliding fifth wheel. So over here we've got our light check and we've got our mood lighting switch and interior light switches. And over here we've got our Bluetooth microphone and here we've got our highway horn. So I'm gonna go out, we'll have a look at this engine. Get, get it, uh, it's good and hot. We're at 175 Fahrenheit right now. Have a listen to it. I'll show you how much blow-by is coming out. Not very much. These trucks are well maintained. They come from a good fleet. I'll take the oil filler cap off. We'll get a good look at what's going on inside of there. If we don't see any blow-by, that's a good indication. The engine has a lot of life expectancy left in it. If you look over here, it's one a couple of other things. It's certified for California, clean idle. It's also compliant with federal DOT and California emissions. So US emissions. California emissions, it's compliant, okay? And it's also compliant with US federal DOT. So let's have a look and see. Good and hot. No blow-by whatsoever, which is good. Okay, you can see the fuel filter. The dummy service has been increased. Fresh DOT sticker is dated. December 22, so we just did that last month, probably before Christmas. This brake's on the front, I think I already showed you that. I'll show you again. I'm gonna close the hood. It does have a hood lock over here. I'll give you a look on this side as well. Treads, give you a good look at the other one, and then I'm going to close up the hood. So there you have it. 2017 Kenworth T680, automatic transmission, pack our engine, nice interior, well optioned out, good looking truck. If you're interested in this truck and you want to make a deal and you happen to be in the US, uh, we can put the truck in Buffalo for you. We have a yard there where you can take delivery from. We'll supply you with the paperwork in order to convert the title over from Canada to USA. And we'll also supply you with a temporary license plate that you can drive home from Buffalo with. And that process usually takes about a week from start to finish once the truck's picked up. 
Uh, any other questions, you feel free to give me a call. My number is area code 844-489-8789 is my toll free or 289-259-6054 is my cell phone. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.